Oh, today we're going to turn the kitchen into a bakery, right here, Connecticut style. We brought in a guy that does baking the best, John Betticelli. He's the author of the Sono Baking Company Cookbook, and he's uh, here right now, and we're going to... Uh, I just just catch the aromas. We got some stuff to uh, to uh, make together. Huh? Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's combining a little baking with a little uh, cooking. So um, we baked the buttermilk biscuits for breakfast. Uh huh. Had a few left over, yeah. so we're going to turn it into a nice dessert for the evening, um, with some fresh plums and some fresh apricots, a little bit of butter and a little bit of sugar. I just kind of saute them very lightly yeah. until they're just wilted, mm -hmm. and then we're going to serve that over that. But the buttermilk biscuit recipe is from the book. It's very easy. You can do it by hand. No machine needed. Um, punch them out. You can use a glass. You can use anything in your kitchen. You know, It's one of those recipes that really can be done by anybody in the family. So, so at one point, this would have been more of a, a breakfast type of thing, right? The scone is definitely a breakfast item, mm -hmm. um, traditionally, or tea time in mm -hmm. the afternoon. Mm -hmm. the, the Brits like it at tea time. Um, but I turned it into a dessert, which is very common, like a shortcake type, you know, uh, biscuit type dessert. It's very yeah. nice. All right, so let's see. What, what can we get into trouble with here? Give well, me an idea what you're making. Well, these are what we call freestone apricots. Mm -hmm. And when you twist them, what a freestone means is that the pit actually comes out that okay. simple. And then you can just slice them for me. Okay. Into, you know, a little bit of width like that. Okay. But, you know, I'm, I'm very proud of uh, coming here to New Haven because we do the farmer's markets three times a week here on uh, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. And we're also opening a store over on Park Street. So oh, really? I really feel like New Haven is becoming our second home. Mm -hmm. So, But now, when I, when I started this, these were all full, nice and high. Mm -hmm. And you can see how they just cook down. They keep their shape, beautiful color. And then over here... How am I doing with this, John? Am I doing okay? You're doing fantastic. Right. It's a very sharp knife, John. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and then... You could just do one plum for me. Okay. No, you do the plum. Uh, okay, there you go. Thing. And then you spin that around. Twist it around. Now Perfect. These, these aren't necessarily freestone, but okay. they do cut nice and easily. Okay. Cut that okay. up for you. Terrific. So then what you want on this, you just want to split the buttermilk scone. Okay. And then you layer your, your fruit on top because you want those juices to Ooh. soak right into the scone. Ooh. And then you put a lot of juice around. Uh, you know, I can just see people at home right now getting a lot closer to their television sets. Yeah, this is a, oh, quite my. an incredible dessert. And then you're going to top it with, this is just fresh whipped cream with vanilla bean in mm -hmm. it. So this is what actually gives it that shortcake. Okay. And then you top it. Ooh. Now, if that doesn't ooze oh. time, I mean, it's just an incredible dessert. You can also put some fresh mint on mm -hmm. there to, mm -hmm. to gussy it up a little bit more. Now, what do you do? Is do you eat this with uh, with with these with these? You forks can try right that with the fork, absolutely. <sighs> now, what's going to happen is those warm juices are going to make that bottom layer of the buttermilk scone mm -hmm. nice and tender, mm -hmm. and then you want to make sure that you get the the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Mmm. And try the fruit because the fruit is really this is the perfect time. It's the first day of summer. Yeah. Peaches, plums, nectarines, um, uh, apricots. Oh, uh, the plum cots are out. All the mm. different varieties. Are you going to stop eating? Are you going to finish the segment? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was really good. John, tell us a little bit about the Sono Baking Company cookbook. Boy, that was so um, It's got 150 recipes. <laughs> um, we just did a nice uh, little book signing over at the library last week, so um, uh, people are aware. Again, we're at the markets. We're selling it at the farmer's markets. It's at Barnes & Noble, okay. Amazon. Uh, it's accessible anywhere. We bring it to the farmer's markets. If anybody wants to come down and get a signed copy. We'll and again, that. tell us where, when the farmer's markets are. Wednesdays down at City Hall. Yep. Um, Saturdays at Worcester Square and Sundays out at Edgewood Park. Now, what is your next challenge from here? Uh, we're doing a second book already. Actually, baking and cooking with a little fruit. So this is actually a prelude to the book. Oh man! Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I got to tell you, this is this is this is what it really makes it worthwhile to come in here when you're well, when, whenever you're much. in the kitchen, John. It doesn't get any better. If people like more information, website or anything, they can go to sonobaking.com. All right. Well, thank you Very so much simple. for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Best. Okay, right. great. All right. Coming up next, you will not.